In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the mixer to mix our sounds, our composition to our video, as well as using effects and then exporting sound with the video so that you can send it to the director or your client so they can get a better idea or get a visual idea of what the sound score, sound design, your audio effects, your Foley, everything that you have, how does it look or sound with the picture, right? So first things first, we're getting to adding some effects and using the mixer with your project. So we're gonna hit the key command X or you can click on the mixer icon in the control bar window, display window area up here, um, or the letter X. And here's our mixer, right? So obviously I have all these other tracks that are not being used. And you know we can totally decide to say, hey, let's clean this up. And that that's definitely something to do. Do not include the tracks you're not using. So we can go in here, we can hide them as well. So for example, we can say select all of these and we can actually put these in a what they call a track stack. So if you uh, control click on the track, one of the tracks that I've selected and once you select it and go create track stack, you can create a track stack, let's say a folder stack, create it and say, for example, not used tracks or however you want to label it. And we can mute this. We can actually hide this if we wanted to and make this a hidden piece. And only now we have just the tracks we're using in our project. With that being said, we open up the mixer again and now we have our tracks here. So the first track is the original audio, which we're not using at this point. I um, have that muted and we are gonna just use the tracks we have recorded and played. So from here, we start to get our levels. So those who are familiar, you guys are familiar with using the mixer in Logic. It's like using any mixer in a real, on a real console. You're gonna get your volume levels together, your pans, uh, panning left to right, things of that nature. So I got my volumes here. The two fighters have now entered the cup. And start adding some effects like compression, EQ, to process the voiceover. I also added a reverb, sending some of the voiceover to the reverb. Um, added some reverb and delay to the horns, to the brass section. The two fighters have now entered the Colosseum. Right, so you would insert or do auxiliary sins and start to shape your sound of all the tracks you're using in your sound to video project. From there, what we're gonna do is just make sure our master track, stereo output, the two flight. We can add, let's say, an adaptive limiter. Logic has a bunch of processing effects for your master output to get an optimal sound level. Um, again, just without using any third-party plugins. So we'll go to dynamics and we'll go to the adaptive adaptive limiter. Add that just to kind of boost the signal to make sure we have it nice and uh, loud. The two fighters have now entered the Colosseum. As the stare down happens, they prepare to go to war. After that, we're ready to export. So what we want to do is we want to do two things. One, you want to export just the music or just the audio of the project. And that simple is having your left and right cycle locate so you locate the section you want to in this piece only have this brief uh, scene that I'm that I'm using to send to say I would send this to the director or to my client to get approval or say hey to continue or to fix or what have you to get their advice and suggestions and notes on it um, I would export file and do your typical bounce export project 
and that would bounce the audio. But then you want to bounce sound to picture, so that way the client or production head, who have, who have you, will be able to see and listen to what you've done to the picture. So from here, you would go to Movie, File, Movie, and Export Audio to Movie. You'll name it. I'm going to call this Way of Dragon uh, Funny because it's funny <laughs> what I put there. And you'll find, you know, your location where you're going to, you know, uh, export it at. I'm going to do it in this folder here. Um, I would say do the highest bit depth um, so the person can hear all the, because it's about the, your sound. It's not about the video. We're not editing the video inside of Logic. We are sound designing and adding audio, composing, um, recording sound to picture in Logic. So it's about the music, it's about the sound designs, about the foley's, about your recordings. So I have a sample rate 4800, that's your typical for film and TV, and 24-bit depth. Awesome. So from here we go save. Now what you don't want to do is check this box. If you check this box here, it's going to add the original sound that was with the film along with your music. You don't want to do that. You want to just have your music, your sound, so they could already have that. So you want to make sure you do not check this box. You don't want to enable this. So you say, okay, it will export super fast. And then from there, you can go to, let's see, date modify. There it is, funny. And now let me close that window. Let's close this window. And we can play back the quick time. The two fighters have now entered the Colosseum. As the stare down happens, they prepare to go to war. And now you can send it off and share it with your friends or send it to your client you're working with. And that's how you mix down and export your sound to picture video. For a more in-depth look, at to sound to picture, sound design, and composing inside of Logic, check out the full course we have on soundcollective.com. In that course, we take a deep dive into composing in Logic. We're talking about composing to film, commercials, TV, music videos, whatever. We talk about really getting into composing for that, composing in video games. We get into mixing, mixing your sound to picture for broadcast to be able to stream it. We get into sound designing, really deep dive into using Foley, things you've recorded, things you have you know, in libraries that you may have purchased that you're subscribed to that's outside of Logic. So it's a really deeper dive into what this is all about of composing and sound designing in Logic Pro X and a whole bunch more. Check us out there at soundcollective.com.